Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today I want to talk about the death of rock and roll. I think that even though we're talking about 21st century music here, we still need to acknowledge the pioneers. And today Jerry Lee Lewis died, and he was really the last of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. So I made a list here of the first two classes of artists, and then I excluded anyone that started in the 60s. So, for example, Aretha Franklin started recording in 1960. So I'm just focusing on the 50s rock and rollers, and um, I wanted to talk about these. So the first, uh, so on this list here, in black are first inductees, first class, 1986, and in brown is the 1987 inductees, the second uh, class. But Buddy Holly died in 59 from a plane crash. Then in the 60s, Eddie Cochran died in a car crash. Sam Cooke was uh, shot by his landlady. In 1972, Clyde McFadder passed away of uh, organ failure. Elvis Presley in 77 from uh, drugs. Bill Haley died in, uh, we're going into the 80s now, Bill Haley died from um, complications of alcoholism and a brain tumor. Jackie Wilson collapsed on stage while performing. Muddy Waters died in 1985. He was uh, uh, pretty advanced in age by that time. Uh, Ricky Nelson died in 85. Big Joe Turner also in 85, so three people passed away then. Roy, Ar Roy Arbison died in 1988. Ten years later, Carl Perkins died. Uh, then in the 21st century, we lost Ray Charles in 2004, James Brown in 2006, Bo Diddley in 2008, B.B. King in 2015. Then from the first class, both in 2017, Chuck Berry and Fats Domino passed away. Little Richard died in 2020. The Everly Brothers, uh, one of them, Phil, died in 2014, and Don Everly died last year in 2021, and then it was announced today that Jerry Lee Lewis died. And the only surviving member of either of those classes, class number two from the Coasters, Leon Hughes, is still alive. Uh, they were in our R&B group, so the rock and rollers now are all gone, and I got to see some of these people in concert. I wanted to see as many as I could. I'll let you know on this list who I've seen in concert. Uh, obviously, those that died early when I was a child, I could not see, but uh, Bill Haley, even though he died in 81, I did see. He, his band was Bill Haley and the Comets, and I did get to see the Comets perform without Bill Haley and they were terrific and then I got to see um, Roy Orbison here I got to see him shortly before he died I got to see Ray Charles two times fantastic performer James Brown I got to see one time Bo Diddley I saw on two occasions B.B. King on two occasions uh, Little Richard I saw one time and Jerry Lee Lewis I saw one time and I just wanted to pay tribute to Jerry Lee Lewis today by playing uh, his 1957 performance before I was born on the Steve Allen show and I'm just gonna let this run I'm not going to talk over it um, if you haven't seen this um, Jerry Lee Lewis uh, really was uh, along with Little Richard probably one of two outrageous performers, much more than Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley shook his hips and scared some parents, but really it was Little Richard and Jerry Lee Lewis who were the two outrageous performers of the 1950s that made rock and roll kind of dangerous. And I wanted to play this, so let's just let it run and then we'll wrap up the video. Uh, rest in peace. The death of rock and roll happened today. Um, rock and roll defined as early rock and roll. Here we go.
You know, a gang of us on the show want to see for ourselves where all these wonderful Johnson products come from, so we're going to uh, Racine, Wisconsin this week. We'll be seeing all you folks out at the Waxworks in a couple of days. There's been a whole lot of shaking going on around here all day, and uh, it's been uh, as a result of a fellow dropping in by the name of Jerry Lee Lewis. As you know, you young folks especially, there's a hit record right now called A Whole Lot of Shaking Going On. It's one of those songs where you kind of get the beat and the feeling and nobody reckon nobody ever will I guess it goes by too fast but here he is jumping and jolting Jerry Lee Lewis They gave him two and a half minutes, and that's what he did with two and a half minutes. Pretty incredible stuff. So if you like what we're doing here on the channel, hit that like or subscribe button. And just wanted to pay tribute to one of the pioneers. We wouldn't have the music we have today without these guys. So rest in peace, Jerry Lee Lewis.